So after update 3.0, all the stats on gear and weapon change and they are not giving you extra attributes anymore. So that's why I'm gonna talk about what's gonna be the new meta on the gear and weapons on Siptoma. Hello everyone, Darkat here with Age of Sorcery tutorial series that in this video after all of you asked so many times that what about Sipta meta, I finally make a video about what is the meta on Sipta map and what people need to use that gives the most advantage and the most bonuses on the gear set and weapons in Sipta map. Let's get to it. Before we start it, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you put the like on the video, it really helps me. I was checking out all the gear sets on Sipta one by one, single by single, check all the stats and combine the best gear that gives the most attributes and put it all together and make a meta in Sipta map that's gonna be this gear set that we here put it out, out here. It's gonna give you a lot of bonuses and I combine them perfectly to make a very nice meta. Why we? choose this gear sets i'm gonna explain them one by one but make sure you be with me till the end of the video at the end i'm gonna explain all the location on the map where you're gonna get these recipes and where is the location to get all these recipes for weapons and gear so at the start i'm gonna explain why i choose this gear set i choose for the handpiece let me wear the gear and explain you when i'm having the gear the gear gonna look like like this so it's not <laughs> pretty promising how it looks like but you can you know with illusion you can look however you want you can change your uh, look on the gear so for the helmet we're using the bat helmet because it gives you 68 health and the conclusive damage it's uh, irrelevant you can use it on capturing trolls and stuff it will be extra bonus but we choosing this for 68 health we going for the black cursor chest piece that gives you the most armor on the light gear sets and 48 hp for the hand piece of course it's gonna be the old meta gloves of jill that's i really like these gloves they are the best that when you are running around it's gonna you see my stamina going up even when you're climbing it gives you extra stamina that you're gonna never run out of stamina when you're running or chasing so gloves of jill is gonna be the best gloves on this meta for the pants i choose war cord why because we already have two pieces of vitality you don't want to go full pieces vitality in this kind of meta you need to balance your gear if you have two piece on vitality you choose two piece on a strength damage so you can see the war court gives you eight percent strength damage it's the most damage you can get on these two pieces because there was some other light pieces that gives you only five percent on a strength so for the boots also war court we're going slide gears at 41 armor and it gives you extra another eight percent on a strength so we choose two light gear set uh, which is full light gear set i i checked all the medium gear sets i didn't find any good medium gear sets because if you watch my other meta in exile land that i recommend you to use medium gear set because it gives you more armor but uh, the stamina is not that different in sipto i didn't find that really good gear set on medium so that's why I'm recommending light gear and for the gear set it depends how much carry capacity you're gonna have it's depend you're gonna go full bulkhead or you're gonna put armor reduction on the chest piece and the pants if you guys have any recommendation of any medium gear in sipta make sure you put it down below in the comment so i learned something new from you guys and now we're gonna talk about the weapons you're gonna use in this meta so i recommend for some weapons for you for a start we're gonna use recommend some spears that of course it's gonna be impaling spear frog seek pike and harpy spear so why we choose this three spear because impaling spear removing buffs it was before removing buffs i don't know if it is still gonna remove your buffs or no the next one is the frog seek pike it's because it's like zas spear every hit steal poison but they nerf it now it have 62 damage and 21 armor pen so i don't recommend to use it and you have harpy spear with 67 damage and 21 armor pen that gonna deal hard cripple every hit 
so i also recommend a lot of more weapons that maybe some of you want to use this kind of weapons not only spear you can use the annoying short axe it's a really strong axe that deal some kind of bleeding every hit you have also froxic war hammers that every hit deal poison with decent damage you also have froxic dagger that is the meton official these days with the Q that you lock the target on enemies you can murder your enemies pretty quick and you have Froxy great axe a two-handed axe that deal poison every hit that you're gonna use also this kind of weapons it's all depend on you for me i'm only using a spear on an axe for killing a troll or like uh, trading for enemies so this is all the recommendation for weapon you can use on Sipta. So now we're gonna talk about the attributes with this gear set. What attributes we're gonna choose? We're gonna go full vitality. The first perk you're gonna choose the fast healer, 50% increase healing when you're drinking a potion that can save your life when you're fighting. And the last perk you're gonna choose gluten for punishment. So when you are taking damage in 15 seconds, your HP restore and get full hp if you don't get any hits and for the strength you pick the first perk on combo master because like if you're doing combos especially with the war axe uh, because with the spears most of the people not finishing the combo but with war axe it can help you to deal 50 20 percent more than here i choose the wrong perk the last perk you will choose the berserker it depends on how your gameplay is if you are fighting aggressive and you're low hp and you can do massive damage and for the last perk we're gonna choose agility because of the last perk on agility gives you rolling thrust that uh, it's very important for pvp when you rolling and hitting you can see my stamina not going down that's the rolling thrust that can help you a lot there is, should be another attributes that helps you with the way you are playing the game some people choosing a uh, grid for extra stamina and armor but this is the best so far i was playing with it on the multiple servers and i enjoyed this build the buffs and food for this build so for the buffs it's gonna be again the same you're gonna use black lotus potion for your extra 15 percent on damage you also have some ideas on golden lotus for a stamina or health potion for extra health it's all depend on you which was you're gonna choose for black lotus you're gonna find the black lotus here on the drown dungeon you just go there and uh, get some black lotus and making the potions the rest of potion is pretty easy and for the food it's again savor jerky and salted pork and there is another question how you get these recipes on oil of sipta so for the food we're gonna go for savory jerky and salted pork again for extra damage or health so you may ask how you get these recipes the cook recipes is on uh, exile land so for this i also have a solution all you need to do to summon surge in sipta and get all the cooking recipe from the surges that's pretty easy and you're gonna make these foods there is also other option for the foods for example exotic feast also gives you a strain weapons and you're gonna find some other foods if you like so now we're gonna be on the last part of the video we're gonna talk about every single of these recipes where you're gonna find them so let's just start it pretty quick for the helmet aspect of the bat everyone know you're gonna learn it on the bat dungeon located here in this bat dungeon you finish the dungeon at the end you learn the bat recipe you just need some elderium to make this recipe for the chest piece is black cursor it's a little bit hard for some people to find this but you can get the black cursor here on the map next to the dock on a ship that when it's a little bit little book on there to it's really hard to find it so i'm gonna tp there and very quick show you where to find this black cursor recipe you can see on the docks there is a broken ship you just go all the way to the ship there is a bed here behind the bed you can see a little book when you click on it you learn the black cursor armor set after you learn the black cursor recipe you will be going for the gloves of jill that's also very obvious where to find it you just need to go to the jill dungeon do the dungeon and get the gloves of jill for the war court that's the massive question of many people how you learning war court in isle of sipta so all you need to do to have a delving bench you're gonna learn the delving bench on these shrines on the middle you just go and learn the delving bench you need to put elderium inside and you need to put lemurian recipe inside this uh, delving bench and it's delve the lemurian and gives you the war cord recipe so here you see i got the war cord recipe but some of you gonna ask 
how you get the Murian recipe on Isle of Sipto is only find on the exile land so I made some research some people say you're gonna summon a search on the Isle of Sipto and you're gonna get some Lemurian purge that those NPCs gonna drop you some Lemurian pieces of recipes that's one way or there should be some camps about Lemurian NPCs that you're gonna find them on the Sipto when you kill them they may drop you some Lemurian pieces but I let you guys decide on this if you have any other idea how to get Lemurian pieces and how to get Warcord recipe on Isle of Sipta, make sure to put your ideas in the comment.